how to calculate the load in each lifting point and sling tension in previous video you learn how to calculate the load in each lifting point see the below calculation in this video you will learn how to calculate the sling tension sling tension below spreader bar number one and number two sling tension above spreader bar number one and number two sling tension above spreader bar number three this is the formula for calculating the tension in this example we consider the sling angle at lifting point number one to four is 90 degree based in the formula given you can start to calculate the tension in each sling see the below calculation you can pause the video and try to follow the calculation This is the formula number 2. For calculating the tension above the spreader bar number 1 and number 2. In this example, we consider the sling angle above spreader bar number 1 and number 2 is 60 degree. Based in the formula given, you can start to calculate the tension in each sling. See the below calculation. You can pause the video and try to follow the calculation. Please take note. We need to add the weight of lifting gear below. And add it to the load in each lifting point. Weight of spreader bar plus sling and shackle. In this example. I just assumed the weight of lifting gear. This is formula number 3. For calculating the tension above spreader bar number 3, we need to combine the load in lifting point number 1 and 2, lifting point 3 and 4. In this example, we consider the sling angle above spreader bar number 3 is 70 degree. Based in the formula given, you can start to calculate the tension in each sling. See the below calculation. You can pause the video and try to follow the calculation take note we need to consider also the weight of lifting gear below the wire sling number 9 and 10 same as we do in the formula number 2 Summary. Based in the calculation you can decide what is the suitable lifting gear you can use. Consider the lifting gear above this wire sling tension.